guys, we're just here in the cactus kitchen, as I like to call it. The cactus kitchen. Um, I love that. Do you? <laughs> you just blew my mind when we haven't even started smoking yet. <laughs> Welcome to the cactus kitchen. Today, we are going to be making some edibles, right? It's my signature cactus edible. We're actually going to be putting like a fall twist on it. So what I normally do is like, I can't have sugar, I can't have a lot of carbs, gluten, lots of stuff. I'm also vegan. Um, so we're going to be making wonderful, delicious edibles that I always make for myself at home. And they're actually pretty good for being like unsweetened because what we're going to be using is actually going to sweeten it up a little bit. Practice, give us the rundown of what are we looking at here? What are our ingredients and why are, what are we gonna do? Let me give you the lowdown. What we're gonna be doing first is we're gonna roast these pumpkin seeds in the oven. Um, and then while they roast, we're going to be making some peanut butter chocolates. So it's like a Halloween candy, but you're not gonna feel sinful for having sugar. We're gonna use unsweetened chocolate, virgin coconut oil, and then we're gonna use pumpkin spice, um, cinnamon, um, we're going to be putting a creamy peanut butter layer on the bottom. And then we're going to use our tincture that I made out of the Move Distillate. And we're going to be probably smoking some of that hemp flour while we're waiting for everything to cook. What we're going to do first is the roasted seeds, we're going to probably put like one to two, maybe three in each of the bottom of these. Then we're gonna put the peanut butter on the top of that. That'll start our first layer. And then with that layer, we're gonna put it into the freezer, let that freeze just for a little bit and harden. And then when it hardens up, that means we can put our chocolate layer on top and that's where it gets chronic. Nice, and so it's basically like two freezer sessions. Like you do like one for the peanut butter, one for the chocolate, mm -hmm. like one for each layer. Okay, cool. Take as many pumpkin seeds as you wanna put in it. Probably just, one or two. Yeah. No. Ah. Ah. So in the upcatch we did Look at that. Oh my gosh. That was so perfect. It's like when the song you're listening to in your car ends right when you get to your destination. Yes! Or the podcast. I get it with podcasts mm -hmm. a lot. And now we're putting it in the freezer. Mm. In the freezer goes. They're actually really smooth hits through this thing. Work on 
Daylight come and you won't go home. I don't know this verse. I know like every verse except for the first one. Taliman, talimi banana. Daylight come. Daylight come and me won't go behind door number one. Edibles. I've got little oh, pumpkin nice. seeds floated to the top on oh, this right. one. Looks like and then this nice one, chocolate, Ooh, chocolate okay. came up too. Oh, that's, that's the solidified. pumpkin spice on tight. Oh, yes. Oh, yum. These are gonna be fun to take out of the bowl. I can't wait. Sometimes I do. Oh. And I, oh. She knows the people that like make this or whatever. They're really cool. And yeah, this is made with hemp seeds. Um, this one specifically is made with hemp seeds. Sometimes they're made with hemp hearts. But what it does is they roast it with the hemp seeds. And when it's roasted, it, um, it like gets into the coffee. It gives it like this like seedy nutty flavor. But it also reduces the acidity of when you're drinking a cup of coffee. So it's good for people with like acidity problems or stomach problems sometimes. I even have stomach problems and I can handle this coffee just a nice. little bit. Nice. It's really good and smells so good. So this would actually smell, smell it. it. You can smell it, can't yeah, you? Yeah, I thought I smelled it from the outside. It smells so good. It's got good. like this little smell. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, it's so good. That would that would be It would be so incredible. Mm. Oh. I, I love the crunch with the pumpkin seeds. I pumpkin loved seeds. the pumpkin seeds in there. The pumpkin seeds added an amazing like crunchiness. Like it made it feel more like you were eating like a chocolate that like came from like a good like like a chocolate shop or something like it had like that it had like a crunchiness mm. to it but it was also kind of like soft and melty because of like that cold melty <laughs> and like based off of this stuff with the tincture and everything you can make your own kind of edibles or recipe based off of this but this is just the one that I really like to do it it's works what for she me. likes it works for her and I thought it tasted great I just tried mm -hmm. it so um, you know you don't have to do unsweetened chocolate you can do sweetened chocolate you can do Hershey's chocolate this is specifically for my health issues and I know that a lot of people do have other health issues like similar to mine I'm on the low FODMAP diet um, so anybody who's on the low FODMAP diet can actually do this yay yay for people with IBS yay yay yeah I'm really glad that we got to try out this awesome edible recipe today and I cannot and wait them. to feel it later yeah <laughs> I was just gonna say I'm gonna follow my Instagram account I'm cactus with a K kush with a K or if you want to follow my photography I'm cactus with a K photo on Twitter I'm cactus photos with an S nice but yeah make sure you follow her and check her out she makes really good content and takes photos and I love it so I love your style. I like too. her. She's really awesome. Go give her some love on her pages. If you like her, whatever. If you think you like her, go do it. Her Instagram. And if you want to see more of us together, let us know because we want to be able to give us a thumbs get up. together. I think we're awesome. I think we're awesome too. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.